The periodic table got a new element, number 113, in January 2016. Nihonium was named after the Japanese word for Japan by its discoverers, a team led by Kosuke Morita at Rikens Nishina Center for Accelerator-Based Science. Nihonium is a heavy metal. Like most other elements with more than 92 protons, it does not exist in nature. In 2003, Kosuke Morita and his team began bombarding bismuth with zinc atoms. They hoped to make an atom with 113 protons in its nucleus, but this can be tricky. It took about nine years to synthesize just three atoms of nihonium. The more protons you try to stuff into the nucleus, the less likely the elements are to fuse. And if they do, it doesn't last long. An atom of nihonium lasts for a very short time, often less than a second. A custom-built Ricken detector traced its decay into smaller atoms to prove it ever existed. So why do scientists work so hard to create these ephemeral elements? One of our goals is to produce long-lived survival element, so-called island of stability. The search for that island continues. In addition to Nihonium, other teams have recently formed elements 115, 117, and 118. Now, Ricken hopes to use a brand new detector to be the first to create number 119. The, uh, the, the periodic table still uh, now is evolving and year by year. It, it's a great moment that the uh, seventh um, period, period, period of the uh, chemical element have been fulfilled. And uh, so that the, uh, now the shape of the periodic table is very beautiful now. <laughs>